Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you some tips. I've been working on this concept art for a day or two now. I've been just blocking out this in the new Unreal Engine modeling tools. Oh, it's disabled for some reason. Yeah, to enable that, go to the settings, plugins, and in the built in, search for mesh creation modeling tools editor mode. It will ask you to restart the engine, so let's do that. Once we restart the engine, this is a new project for me, I called it concept art and here where I keep my uh, concept art stuff, the nice things I see on Pinterest sometimes. <laughs> so I will tell you real quick about this, I started this from a concept I saw on ArtStation where I was looking for a foggy night kind of scene and then uh, I started with boxes first with the modeling tools inside Unreal Engine. So let's open back our map again and I'm going to... There is this picture I saw a few days ago somewhere on, on Pinterest and then it led me to art station Akihiko Kamiya. Took this picture to Pureref. Pureref is an amazing piece of software that can help you as an artist saving your reference images in one big place. I covered how I made this scene from scratch so I'm gonna link you in the description. Check out that tutorial. A few weeks ago, I got this pack from Kitpash 3D. It's called... Where the fuck is it? Yeah, Neo City. I got the mini kit. It was for free. I think it's still for free. I don't know. I'm gonna link you in the description. You can download this mini kit, Neo City, for free. This video is not sponsored by them, by the way. You get this building to use in almost any piece of software out there. In our case, we're just gonna put Unreal Engine UE4 individual so I think if you pay if you're a small studio you're gonna use this for business and stuff it's like yeah wow <laughs> worth it if you're just like me individual you can uh, click that add to cart you need to make an account just make an account check out and download it once you download this and here's the first tip you will start from an empty map like this one and you have this folder after I downloaded the kit I just migrated its content to my project and to migrate content between Unreal Engine projects, you just go to where the, your project is located. In my case, it's Unreal Engine Concept Art. You go to Content and this folder, the Kitpatch 3D, you need to copy it and put it inside your project here. Another way to migrate content between Unreal Engine projects is just right clicking any asset you want to migrate and clicking on Asset Actions, Migrate. It tells you you want to save this map for some reason, tell it no. And it tells you, hey, this asset, to, in order for it to be copied, we need to copy all of this. And that's right. This is a map I did just to put all the buildings inside it real quick and mix between projects. Now, when you open Kitpatch for the first time, I believe you will be welcomed with an empty uh, screen like this. And you go to Kitpatch 3D folder, you go to Actors and you start dragging this into your scene. If you're loading this for the first time ever, it might take a while. Um, yeah, hope you got some patience. Now, why it taking a while to load all these assets or anything you get from the marketplace? For example, when I add from Epic Store a new product that I purchased from the marketplace, like Brushify, Vegetation, or anything, and we try to open it for the first time ever, whether like this map or that map, it takes so much time. The reason is because Unreal Engine is generating files that are saved locally, mostly on your C drive, in order to open this project faster in future and this is why you're running out of space all the time I'm gonna tell, show you something go to Google and uh, Google space sniffer download this guy it's an amazing small piece of software click on download holy shit what is it yeah no yeah let's open it click on see here and wait for a moment these error messages are because we need to run the app in admins in administrator mode you can ignore these and what's happening here is just showing oh get out of my face 
it's face sniffer looking inside your desk C showing you what's taking what so this program files is taking 60 gigabytes so far this helps you locate what's going on inside your hard drive I always run out of space and this app helps me all the time looking for unnecessary or temp files or maybe big projects I forgot about locate them and then do something about them so it tells you here in program files I have like uh, epic games the launcher alone is 10 gigabytes no inside the launcher there is the vault cache and the vault cache is everything you download from the marketplace so when you go to epic launcher this is the first folder you can delete every now and then there are like sometimes unimportant projects that you don't want or maybe you just downloaded the content examples once you just created a project with it and now you don't want it anymore because this content examples alone is like fucking 5 gigabytes and now look at C <laughs> look at Unreal Engine <laughs> Unreal you need to stop prayer it's just getting fatter and fatter now Unreal Engine here this is crazy 70 gigabytes 69 only for Unreal Engine here Unreal Engine have his cache data stored inside this folder and this is what Unreal Engine creates here when you open a new project like this for example when you open project this project some of its temp files to load faster are saved here you can delete this it's okay to delete it every now and then however the next time you're gonna open any project inside your library it might take like crazy time up to 10 minutes or something because it will generate all these files again right but this is good practice i usually do the, this every six or seven months if there is one person we should thank for space differ it would be my man zamorev dude you have no idea how many lives you saved ivan is working on his vr game fatal flurry so make sure you check him out i think that's the best way we can thank him for sharing his tips well <laughs> if you also have something to share with us write it in the comment and join us on discord i want to talk to you ivan love you bro about this project the next steps are this is why i got kitpash 3d i'm gonna experiment with adding these buildings to my environment as you know i use the modeling tools to block out these boxes right and i start from this image as a base and now i would like to expand on, on what i have so far it's gonna be fun you can go to the yeah the actors here such a cool set man I love the, their uh, models and if you wanna see something that really well done with this you can check Neon Sense my boy here got the second place in uh, Kit Pass challenge I'm extremely happy for you man good fucking job I love your film look at this <laughs> crazy so that would be the tips for today guys i hope you know now how to empty space in your computer and how to get a kit patch to your projects i'm very happy <laughs> we made it 4000 subscribers thank you so fucking much guys we're absolutely amazing thank you to 80 level for featuring us in a small piece thanks to unreal engine also for featuring us on their weekly spotlight that was it's just made us so fucking happy thank you subscribe if you're not already and i will see you soon cheers